I'm happy for you, Taylor. It sounds like fun. This oh, no, no more from you. Yeah, I think I'm still on the wait list. Oh, well, your dad's an alum. Of, of course, he wants to take you to Providence. Okay, bye. I'll be right back. All right. I'll be right back. Check this out. Hey. Hi. Hey. I didn't even see us, right? Oh, what are you doing? I'm so glad you're here. Nice to see you. Yeah, I want you to. Uh, I want you to meet someone. Oh, this is hi. Lucian. Hi, Lucian. Lucian, this is Christina. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Can you say hi, Christina? <laughs> He's a little bit shy. He's uh. He's my son. I know, I was shocked too. Wow, that, that's unbelievable. I know, isn't it crazy? So he's gonna be living with me and Sonny. Yeah. So, we're gonna be a family. I guess I missed a huge moment. How did this happen? Yeah, what? I, uh, I, I thought that I'd lost him three years ago, but really, Suzanne had taken him away to protect him uh, from Theo. But, uh, Theo's, um, no, I don't know if you know that. It's very complicated. So how did Dad take it? Um, well, he was really surprised. <laughs> and we both are. We're, we're still getting used to it, and everybody's getting to know each other. But we, we did plan on, uh, you know, we're gonna put maybe a big playground in the backyard for him. And also, so anyway, we should help him make grilled cheese sandwiches. It was so cute. So, we're trying. I'm glad everything's working out so well for you. Oh, uh, thanks. I feel like um, this is better than I ever could have imagined. Oh, we should. Plan a family brunch. Yeah. yeah. Lucian can meet Michael, Morgan, Molly, Dante. Yes, that would be great. I mean, not right now because I just am feeling really protective of how much he's taken in at once and I don't want him to be overwhelmed. So um, I don't want to bring you know, too many people around him, but I think we're just going to try to bond as a family, the three of us first, and then we'll have a big lunch where you guys can all hang out with him. Look, Mom. Um, I'm so glad you guys got to meet each other. Me too. We actually have to go. I can't believe we have to leave already, but we need to get back, right? To, right. And we need to meet Sunny because we're going to talk about the big playground in the backyard. So, we need to see you. Right. And listen, I hope you understand what I was saying about the, um, just if Sunny and I are kind of out of the loop for a minute, we're just trying to figure this out and bond with him, you know, first, and then we'll bring everyone in together on it. Okay, bye. Bye. All right. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. I'll grab it. You gonna grab yeah, it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. He's gonna All grab right. it. Can I get a coffee to go? Are you alright? Swell. I hate crying. It's pathetic. I know feeling. Well, you know what? If you want to talk, I don't have anywhere I need to be, or you, know, you don't need to say anything. I can just sit here and be silent support for you. going to sound selfish and petty. Oh, well, I've been there too. My dad's new wife just discovered the baby she thought she lost is alive and well and three years old. Oh. Yeah, he's living with Brenda and dad now and they're shutting out the whole world to focus all their attention on this stranger boy. Mm -hmm. It's like dad got a new kid. A fresh chance. And you know what that means? He'll have less time for me than he does now. Not like we ever hung out or anything, but we were getting closer. So much for that. Oh, and my friend Taylor. Well, actually, he's sort of my boyfriend. He got into Brown, his school of choice, and his dad is taking him to visit the campus. It's like the whole world as I know it is moving on without me. Yeah, it sounds like you're carrying a lot of stress. It could be hazardous to your health. What am I supposed to do? I can't just flip off my feelings like a light switch. It, I mean, 
I'm in therapy, but it's not exactly a stress reliever to talk about how your dead ex-boyfriend used to slap you around. I might be able to help take the edge off. Drugs? No, thanks. No, 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 not prescription drugs. I wouldn't, I wouldn't prescribe something like that for you for this. Uh, it would be an herbal remedy. You could just think of it as like a vitamin supplement. Really? Yeah, you know what? How about if I pick some up? I'll show it to you, I'll explain how it works, and then you can just decide if that's something that works for you. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. I feel better. Thanks. Hey, you're just the person I wanted to see. Me? Yeah, I think you might be able to help me. I was out of town when Jake got hit. You know, I was in Vegas being frivolous and carefree with my wife. And uh, now that I'm back, you know, I, I, I might like to help somebody like my father. How is Luke? He's not good. You know, I'm, uh, I'm actually getting a little worried about him. I'm sorry. Uh, he's just, uh, he's just this volatile combination of, of profound remorse and profound defiance. You know, I just, I don't know what to do. Maybe all you can do is be there for him. That Luke can open up to you in a way that he can't with Lucky and Lulu. You two don't have all that messy family history holding you back. That's true. I don't know, I guess I just have to trust that, uh, that Luke will figure out what he needs, and, and when he does, that he'll be able to come ask me. Oh, anyway, enough of that. How are you? What's new? What's your life like? Well, um, a stepbrother by marriage. Uh, what? Surprise. <laughs> yeah, Brenda has a son, and he's living at my dad's. I take it you're not too thrilled about that. I'm not. Which makes me a total hypocrite. I fight with my father all the time, and I, I acted like having dinner with him once a week was the worst thing that, in the world. And, you know, it's not like I'm not used to being an afterthought. Well, I thought you two had gotten closer. We are. But we've worked through a lot of things together, and I've worked on a lot of stuff with my therapist, too. That's why it surprises me that this stranger kid just comes into his life and I'm back at square one. You sound a little angry. Some. A little bit. I mean, how is it fair that this kid that didn't exist a week ago sails right into my father's life. I don't know. But I can offer you a piece of advice. Please. <laughs> don't shut Sonny out. Uh, don't, don't isolate yourself or convince yourself that he doesn't love you or want you. Because you have a place in his life and nobody can take that away from you. I mean, I don't even have a frame of reference, you know, I never finished school. That's okay. I respect your opinion. Okay. Well, in that case, I would say take a second look at Yale. Right? But an objective look. I mean, I'll figure out why you want to go there, aside from the fact that that's where your mother went. You know, forget about parental expectation and, and all that. Just evaluate Yale and see if it's going to be a good fit for you. Well, that's really good advice. And I'm going to take it. In fact, I'll take any advice you give me. Why in the world would you do that? You're so free and true to yourself. It's inspiring. No, no, that's a terrible idea. See, everywhere I go, disaster is when I step away. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody seems to be in a better mood. Yeah, I mean, Ethan was helpful and told me that things aren't really as bad as they seem. Good.